Hello everyone, this is Wade with High Tech Legion, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. As you know, the R9 and R7 series from AMD were recently released, and what I have for you in this video is going to be an overview and benchmarks for the ASUS DirectCU 2 Top 280X graphics card. So let's take a closer look at the graphics card itself. I'll tell you about the features, and then we can take a look at the benchmarks. So here's a closer look at the DirectCU 2 Top Edition uh, from ASUS of the Radeon R9 280X. GPU, which is one of the latest GPUs in AMD's series that um, they've just released. Uh, this does feature their typical DirectCU 2 heatsink, which you can see is pretty heavy duty through the fans here. You've got two different types of fans for pushing air differently in different sections of the GPU. And you also have a metal shroud on here protecting those fans and the uh, heatsink fins as well. It does feature copper direct contact uh, heat pipes which are 10 millimeters so it increases the amount of heat that it can pull from the GPUs for cooler quieter um, running or cooler quieter running card you do have your PCI Express 3.0 slot here on the bottom and you can also see the uh, power connector for the fans right here that goes into the PCB on the top you've also got a large heat pipe coming in here and you've got a support what I want to call a spine on the spine of the card here nice metal support here to increase rigidity for the card and keep it nice and stiff while it's mounted into your system this does also go down here and attach into the back plate of the card you can see all your electronics here on the bottom of the card and the four screws for the heat sink um, here. You've got your power connectors. They're in an eight pin and a six pin PCI Express power connector on the top. And you can get a good look at the fins of the heat sink just under the shroud here as well. On the back side of the card, you've got all your connectors, a display port, HDMI, DVI-I and also VGA using an adapter and a DVI-D connection here. This does have 3 gigs of GDDR5 memory on it on a 384-bit bus and it does have the DigiPlus VRM Super Alloy Power um, features in it. This does feature 10 phases of power, 8 phases for the GPU and 2 phases for the memory. What that gives you is more stable power going into all the components of the car. So typically you can get a higher overclock with these, these higher uh, cards with the higher end design on them. So you've also got a GPU tweak utility that comes with it and features live video streaming. The GPU tweak utility allows you to adjust all of your graphics card settings, the voltage and core boost as well as your memory and uh, fan profiles etc uh, definitely check it out if you haven't looked at it even if you just want to monitor your card and see how it's doing you've got 2048 stream processors and the reference card for this model features up to a 1 gigahertz engine clock the ASUS model features a 1070 megahertz um, core speed and the memory speed on the reference card is 6 gigabits um, on the ASUS version. It's 6.4 gigabits, so they've significantly overclocked this card right out of the box for you. And the typical board power that's required is up to a 250-watt TDP. You've got DirectX 11.2 support and OpenGL 4.3 support.
The dimensions on the card are 11.2 inches by 5.7 inches by 1.5 inches. So you got 11.2 inches in length, 5.7 inches wide, and an inch and a half in depth on the card. And so now let's take, now that we've covered the features of it, let's take a look at the benchmarks for the card. As you can see from the benchmarks, the R9280X, particularly this ASUS model, performs very well. So let's take a look at the accessories that are included. One thing is that ASUS uh, puts the accessories in a nice little box um, in the packing of it. So if we open that up, we can pull all the accessories out, which includes a crossfire bridge. You've got your ASUS manual and quick setup guide as well as a CD here which includes your drivers and the GPU tweak utility so definitely check that out um, the GPU tweak utility is definitely very powerful like I said even if you just want to monitor your uh, your graphics card for temps and fan speeds or maybe do a custom fan profile to uh, keep it running a little cooler if you don't mind a little bit more noise granted this uh, graphics card when it's under say 40% you can barely hear the hear the fans over any other system components. I hope you all enjoyed the overview and benchmarks for the ASUS DirectCU2 Top 280X graphics card. Um, for the full review please see www.hightechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages.